Hello everyone, welcome back to the course and in this video we will talk about what are the functions in JavaScript. So functions are basically similar to a procedure where we have got a set of instructions inside a function and then we are executing those instructions based on some sort of logical or some other concept that we wanted to execute within those functions. We can say that basically it is nothing inside a function we have some sort of statements which are get, getting executed and if we have some sort of logical statements over there like fls or for loops those are also getting executed. In order to define the functions there are two ways one, one is function declaration where we use a function keyword and we say that the name of function if we wanted to pass some arguments to that function that is also good if we don't want we can also skip that part. The second is to declare the function expressions. Right, we have got the function expression is the uh, similar way, like the different way, but it is also for declaring the function. You might see both in your real time, so you don't need to get confused like this. How this is working fine in the function expression. What we say that we we usually use a variable over here, variable declarator, like we have got let var or const. Then we put the name of function over here and then we say that okay equal and then we whatever the function is there so basically what we are actually doing is everything on the left side we are assigning it to a variable called square and as on the right side it is a function it is all square is also becoming a function so this is the like these are the two various way, two ways which we can declare a function in javascript so let's quickly say this in the demo and then we will talk about how what are the various other things that we can have as a function so we are here in the browser window where we are working on to so we'll see the very first thing we'll say that say hello this is the very first function that we are going to create and we'll do nothing we'll just go ahead and put an alert over here and we will say that hello and we hit enter now there is nothing happens right to call this function what we'll say is we'll call the function called say hello opening and closing parenthesis and hit enter you will be able to see a alert message which is saying that hello this is very first thing now let's quickly create the same function with the uh, function declaration way we'll say that say hello and we, this time we'll say that function this is going to be a function and this is going to be an, again alert and we'll say that uh, again hello Okay, now it is saying that identifier say hello has already been declared because we have already created that function. So what we will do is we'll just go ahead and say that say hello uh, with the declarative way. So we'll say that okay, and we'll just go ahead and call it, and it will say that again hello. So basically there is a typo mistake that we are getting over here. Now there is one thing if you notice here, if you say okay, I'm not going to do anything, I'm not going to put opening and closing parenthesis what's going to happen is it going to throw any error no it is basically going to show you what is basically inside that function what exactly the declaration of that function is and sorry, we wrong place yeah what exactly the, the declaration of that function is and you will be able to see this is how basically your function is working okay and it is telling you basically if you click here that is why it is taking us to this particular thing where it says that okay you have got a function like this so that is how you declare a function using these way now if you want it to pass a parameter inside a function how you do that so we'll say that function is square that is what we will uh, we have seen the so function is square we'll say that number whatever the number we wanted to pass and we'll say that alert and we say number into number because that is how you have got a square so let's say that number into number now we will call that method we'll say square and we'll pass let's say that 4 and it is going to alert 16 because 4 into 4 is 16 you wanted to pass various parameters you can also have various parameters let's say that you've got number then you've got number one then you've got number two kind of things you will be able to say that now if you have say uh, you say that square and now if you say that left 5 and if you hit enter you are seeing this 25 why you are seeing this 25 whatever the other parameters are treated as undefined if you wanted to see those so you can just go ahead inside your function 
uh, you say that okay alert and you this time what you need to do is you need to say number one only the one element we can have can alert that and we'll say what is basically happening so you can see here that the next number is identified so if you have a function which is a javascript function which is ac uh, accepting multiple parameters and you are only calling with one parameter then that is also fine there is nothing you will not get any error if you are using these variables somewhere then you might get the error but if you are not using or you have a proper check on that to see if this variable is not blank or it is not undefined then perform this otherwise perform this then your function is going to work properly there is one more thing right if you wanted to declare a function let's say that i wanted to declare a function q okay and we'll say that this this is basically expect uh, like this is not accepting any parameters okay we have got q and we'll say that okay hello amit that is what i've got now if i say there is nothing we're not getting any error nothing right it's working fine now suppose that you are not passing any parameter but you still want to see what all parameters has been passed that function what you will do that inside the function let's quickly log one element so we will say that console.log and what there is something called arguments okay these are basically the javascript this is a javascript predefined inbuilt functionality if you see now if you sent hello myth and arguments is nothing these are the array this takes all the parameters that you pass inside a method now you see here arguments it is saying that amit and it is also saying some other parameters as well now if you wanted to test something other uh, say that okay hello amit how are you 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 kind of paste this right if you hit enter you will see now arguments is displaying with the two attributes like zero and one in there so there is also a concept if you if you wanted to not passing a variable but you wanted to get right you say that okay arguments zero okay you can have that you got whatever you are getting now you can as it is a cube you can say that okay uh, we are going to basically get argument zero and we can multiply this thrice so we say that okay argument zero into argument zero into argument zero now we hit enter and we say that okay i'm going to pass three a number three over here and we'll get 27 because why we are getting 27 because the cube of three is 27 three into three into three is 27 so this is also one thing that you might want it to see like you want to know because this is again a very important concept in terms of uh, the javascript interview questions as well they might ask we are not passing but we are calling this uh, this is a way which we are calling this is our definition of the function what could be the issue or what what will be the result for that so that is how you are going to work with the functions without a parameter now let's quickly talk about what are function closure in javascript okay function closure is also the most powerful features of a javascript that means if you have a variable inside your outer function okay you can get the access to that variable inside your inner function as well so what it is doing here is say that here uh, in this particular example we have got two functions one is outer function called fit there is another inner function which is called get name and then outer function is accepting one parameter which is saying that name okay and when we say that name it is uh, it is basically the inner function is not accepting any parameters but it is returning the same parameter which is passing from the parent function so this function is accessible sorry this method is ac this variable is accessible due to the function closure concept so and then what we are doing is we are returning get name so this name is get name is basically being called it is returning the name now what we said that okay we are again going to create a variable called my pet this is again going to be a function because we are assigning the value to that function so let's quickly see how exactly this is going to work this function closer you might not basically working with this concept in lwc but when you will be going through the javascript developer one exam this is again one powerful concept where you might get one or two questions for that so what i did is i basically copy pasted the same thing the same code that we have and i'm just going to 
uh, change the num to Freddy. And here, even if you say here, what we have got is uh, we have got uh, pet, which is accepting one parameter name. When we have got get name, which is saying that okay, then again is the inner function, it is returning the name, whatever the name we are passing over here, basically Freddy, and then it is returning get name. Okay, now what we hear is this is the one line, and then this is the other line. You might be thinking, right, we are calling this method pet. We say that okay, this is the pet, and this is returning. Uh, this is storing in a variable again. Now, if you see right, let's quickly instead of calling that, we'll say what exactly is happening. I just wanted to show you. So we'll say alert my pet, and we got a function. What we got a function which is saying that return name. Okay. So what exactly is happening? Here we are returning a function. We are returning a function. We say that get name, right? So if we are returning a function, we must need to call that function. So to call that function, we'll say that okay, my pet is this particular whatever the pet is. Now if we, we see here, we say that it is saying that Freddy. Well, this is what it is returning. This is what we have sent. Now the return type here is the main key, the, which is returning our, which is returning nothing, which is returning inner function. The complete definition is being returned by our outer function. So that is basically the concept of closure. There might be other things. You might want it to get so you don't need to get into more details about this but just go through with the uh, we'll say that uh, basic concept of how function closure works and that is enough for you to work with lwc and in your exams as well now as we are working in the functions there is one thing that uh, we wanted to talk about is you remember we have talked about the objects right inside objects we have talked about we can have a key and we can have a value. There is one thing that we can also have is a function. Okay, inside an object, we can also have a function where we say that okay, hello there. This is what we wanted to print inside a function which is saying hello there. Okay, now if you wanted to call this, how you can have it? So you will say that okay, user dot say hello, and it is going to say that hello there. So you can also have a function inside your objects as well. I didn't tell you before while we were discussing with the object. The reason because we haven't covered that function thing inside that objects as well. So these are the like parameters. These are the keys that you can have if you wanted to uh, basically use this. So you can say that this dot first name, and if you hit enter, it is saying that hello there, Amit. Okay. So that is how you you cannot say that first name because if you say first name it will not be able to find out what variable you are referring to that is why it is it going it is going to give you the error so if you try to use this let's quickly this and we say here first name is not defined so whenever you are inside a object you wanted to refer your key values you can just go ahead and use this dot so your variable name whatever you have one thing that we also wanted to have is uh, suppose that we have got a constant so that we'll say that uh, hello and this is function we wanted to have this is going to have nothing it is saying that hello so you might also see some sort of code like this okay you get alert over here so if you see this sort of functions right this sort of definition if you find what exactly that is that those are basically self calling functions self calling functions are only applicable for the function declaration where we are assigning the function value to a particular variable so now what we say is we are assigning this particular signature to hello and then we are calling so if we talk about if you remember the previous example that we have taken for the pet one right what let, let me break down this how it is going to look like so say that you have got function and you say that hello right and then how you will call that function hello Sorry, there was a mistake from my side. So we'll again write the same concept over here. You say that function hello, and you're just having alert over here. Now to call this, how you will do this? You'll say that hello, and then you will use the closing and opening parenthesis, right? So if you basically combine these two in a single declaration, how it is going to look like? Now it is going to say that hello is a variable. Okay, we'll say that hello is what declaration is there for hello? We'll say that okay, just go ahead and say uh, it is going to be function. 
Now we need to store into somewhere else. We'll say that let hello, and we'll say that hello, or we'll say that greeting. So what exactly is going to happen? It is going to call the same function. So there are some cases where you have a function, and then you want it to call that function immediately without calling that function separately from somewhere else. So this is basically uh, we say that self calling function. Uh, you might also get this some one or two questions into the javascript developer exams from this as well or you might get some sort of interview questions around this concept as well so this is it for this video for the functions and thank you for your time in the coming videos we will talk about what are the arrow functions which are also known as pat arrow functions thank you